Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 950, we're going to talk about Celestine, the Living Saint. Uh, first, I want to give a, a big heartfelt thank you to all the patrons. Thank you so much. Um, you make all this possible. And for those of you right now watching, liking, sharing on wherever, thank you so much. Thank you. It means a lot. And to our good friends over at Dragon Shield, uh, as always, these decks are in Dragon Shields. Um, you can find Dragon Shields at your friendly local game store. If you don't have a friendly local game store, uh, Canada's Collectible Games in Jackson, Tennessee is just a short drive, galactically speaking, away from anywhere. But let's, galactically speaking, let's talk about Celestine, the Living Saint. Now, this is one of the Warhammer 40k legends. Uh, as opposed to just dumping all the legends from one set at a time, I get them done. I mean, y'all see them as I get them done, and I sprinkle them out so as not to, you know, burn you out on the all the all will be one ones at once or whatever. Anyway, for five mana, we get a three four flying a life link. Apparently, Celestine has sealing tears. At the beginning of your end step. Return target creature card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield where X is the amount of life you gained this turn. So we want to gain life. That That's just a thing we want to do. So, but we're also playing Mount of Life. That comes with its own set of challenges. Uh, before we get into it, yes, the MVP of this deck is Age of Flux Reservoir. Uh, pay 50 to deal 50 is just insane. Um, it you get there quicker than you think. And I've spent years trying to avoid this card that I say avoid it. Deck number 950, this may be the first uh, card I'm about to show you. Uh, Test of Endurance. I, I, I wanted to keep this card a secret because this is a game we started 40 life. It's not that hard in Mono White life gain to get up to 50, and you just win. Because I knew if I had done it, uh, like four years ago, uh, the price would have shot up. People, would, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> but it's back. It's a Dominator remastered. It's a beautiful thing. I love this card for a life gain. But let's get into our mana ramping, shall we? And that's what it is with white. It is just ramp. We cannot compete with green or, frankly, any other color. So, um, we have our Soul Ring. Now, I tried to use as many of the 40k cards as I could for the deck. Um, Thought Vessel, Spectral Searchlight, Decanter of Endless Waters. Now, I like this. I like this card. Any color mana, no max hand size, count me in. Uh, Marble Diamond. Soul Talisman, Burnished Heart, getting in two lands, the Gold Mirror, and the Everflowing Chalice, and Oketra's Monument rounds out the artifacts. Um, I mean, they're one cheaper, and buy one, get a warrior to go with it, sure. Then we've got stuff like the Core Cartographer everybody is very familiar with, uh, but Laurel Warhound kind of does the same thing if somebody has more than you. White doesn't have a way to get ahead, but they have a way to catch up. And then we have Pilgrim of the Ages. Uh, just searching for a plane to put it in your hand. And, you, you know, once it's in the graveyard, you can spend six mana to get it back if that's a thing you want to do. Now, Master of Ceremonies, that is a big old wall of text. Uh, you know, it, it can draw you a card. It has a possibility to draw you a card, which is all we get in white, right? And then Smuggler's Share. At the beginning of each end step, draw a card for each opponent who drew two or more cards this turn. Then a treasure for each opponent who had two or more lands. Okay, so in a multiplayer environment, and, and all of these cards, are they get better the more players you have. And I've realized that's, that may taint my appreciation of certain cards uh, just simply because I do play in a lot of big games. We will play with however many people sit down. If it's four or if it's ten. Anyway, let's look at our creatures. This is our creatures that all pretty much have something to do with 
gaining life, right? Uh, we have our soul's attendant, uh, the soul warden, Linden, because uh, all of our creatures are going to be white at attack. So uh, the big monster is the Archangel of Thune. When you gain life, put a 1-1 one, one counter on your team. So we want, like, small bursts of life gain, as well as, you know, big bursts of life gain for the commander. Uh, just lifelink creatures like the Fiend Slayer Paladin, um, a Johnny Sunstriker, Audric. I, I mean, it, it's a white creature deck. You might want an Audric, because, let's face it, uh, if one of your things have flying, hey, that's cool. <laughs> um, but Knight of, of the Metal Green is great. Rock's Faith Mender. Uh, gain life, gain twice that much life instead. Woo doggy. Uh, the Resolute Archangel, in case it's a late game and you get hit. Um, yeah. Archon of Sun's Grace. 3-4, uh, flying a lifelink for 4. Okay. The Enchantment Fall thing. Eh. Uh, Battle Grace Angel. Sarah Paragon, Lenvala the Preserver, Victory's Herald, you know, giant flying angels with life link or whatnot. And then the Triumph of St. Catherine. Um, it's a 5-5 five, five life link for four man, or five mana or two mana if you miracle it. I mean, you know. And now we have a pile of cards that's sole purpose is just to gain life. Just to gain life, like Ivory Tower. I know Vincer's Journal is better, Ivory Tower. It's just iconic to me. Um, Philidar Umbra is going to grant life link. And let's face it, it grants it an extra life. Regenerate it, if you will. And you can just swap it around, right? That, that's, that's amazing. Uh, Authority of the Consuls is really good. True Conviction, if you're going to do life gain, you got to have True Conviction. Just giving your entire team double strike and life link, oh my gosh. Um, now, Approach of the Second Sun is another win condition. Uh, uh, it, so we've got the Approach, Etherflux Reservoir, Test of Endurance, uh, beating people down with giant flyers. Uh, I mean, there's several different outs here. Uh, noble Purpose is only a purpose to gain you life. Uh, so, that's not life link. That's, yeah. Now, <laughs> I know you You probably suspend this on turn one and hope for the best, whatever. Uh, maybe you'll be alive on turn ten, who knows. Uh, but gaining 20 life is a whole lot of life. Now, Congregate is a four mana, probably gaining you more than 20 life. Because it's instant speed. Uh, you're probably going to wait right before somebody is going to wrath the board. And you're going to go, hold on, in response. Let me gain a bunch of life. Because that is the optimal time to do it. Because apparently, by some players' uh, estimation, that's as full as the board is, is going to get. Right? So, congregate. Now... Reward the Faithful is one that um, is kind of different. Any number of target players each gain life equal to the highest converted mana cost among permanents you control. So, I'm going to just choose me <laughs> and gain whatever ever that is. Now we've got cards that hinge on life gain. You know, stuff like Angelic Accord. Uh, each instep, if you gain four or more life, you get an angel token. All right. Uh, Celestial Unicorn, when you gain life, put a counter on it. Sweet. Same thing with a Johnny's Pride Mate. Now, the Path of Bravery, as long as your life total is greater than your starting, creatures you get plus one. Cool. Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, you gain life equal number of attacking creatures. So that's before the life link even kicks in. Now, um, I'll straight be honest with you, this is just the other category here. I'm playing Mono White, so there's some things we want. Uh, ghostly Prison, we don't want to get swarmed, you know. Uh, 
Brave the Elements. Uh, Brave the Elements is is so oh, mono white decks. Th this is the perfect mono white deck card because not only does it prepare you for an alpha swipe because you can just you know if they're playing mono blue black whatever or all their colors share green you can just okay pro green you can't block kill you but what it also does is it's an anti um, red because uh, it's an instant speed they cast pyroclasm or blasphemous act or chain reaction or you know all the red damage everything spells and you're like my guys are safe We have the Vexilus Praetor. No, not that kind of Praetor. Um, this has Lieutenant without having Lieutenant, right? I mean, three, four, flash Vigilance. So uh, somebody's going to kill your commander, and you just flash this out, and your commander's going to prove everything. So, bye-bye. Uh, Ruined Halo. I love this card because... <laughs> you have protection from the chosen name. It doesn't stop them, which is probably of a commander, right? Uh, the one commander you can't deal with. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, a Chroma's Will just gives, you know, all the abilities. Uh, yeah. Lifelink is in there. Indestructible's in there. So those are good ones for the anti-wipe. Now, uh, the Ultramarine's Honor Guard Squad is just a great mechanic. Uh, other creatures, you can, yeah, plus one, plus one. Your team gets plus one, plus one. But Squad makes this thing insane. If So you're paying six mana for two of these. Eight mana for three. Ten mana for four. We're still not like crazy, because there are times when you have ten mana in... Ah, it's great. And then, of course, Arm of Ascension is one of my personal favorites. You just slap it on your commander, and there you go. You just start one-shotting people because your commander is this big, you know, 12-12 double-striking thing. Uh, now we get into our removal. Uh, we have uh, Path to Exile, Sword to Plowshare, Condemn, Demystify, Manatithe. Nobody sees Manatithe coming. I'm telling you, they don't. We play a tap-out format. People will, you know, I just need one more Manatithe. I, I can cast my commander. How about, no, Scott. Um, yeah. Disenchant. Generous Gift. Oblivion Stone still one of my favorites. And I know you're going to like Declaration Stone. What? Um, tokens, y'all. Tokens. We got more my tokens. We got squirrel tokens now. Goblins, elves, dragons, whatever your token may be. And all other creatures with the same name. Yeah. So then we have our two non-basic land cards. You know, Temple of the False God and our Reliquary Tower. And that is it for Celestine today. I do appreciate y'all watching, liking, subscribing, all that stuff. And uh, I appreciated it. It, uh helps make what I'm doing worthwhile. Uh, so y'all let me know in the comments down below, what did I miss? The uh, Any crazy life gain cards. Like, I, I know Sarah Avatar would probably be pretty good in here. Uh, especially if I could give Sarah Avatar lifelink. Oh, double strike in life. Oh, yes, I need a Sarah Avatar. And then the soul of whatever the Sarah Avatar-like thing is. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh... Thank y'all so much, but we're going to go ahead and shuffle and cut.